Hello, YouTube, and welcome into the start of a brand new Let's Play for Civilization VI. I am the Game Mechanic, here with you as always, and today I have for you Poundmaker. Um, Poundmaker is a very, very fun sieve, and uh, we have some very, very fun land. Um, we have a we set, spawned on a uh, floodplains, leading me to believe we might have a desert nearby. Um, we've got horses. We have a couple, couple luxuries that have uh, culture on them. We've got luxury with gold, all of it in the jungle. Makes for some really, really nice tile yields. Um, so talking about this with chat, we have a few options. Uh, we could certainly settle in place and start with a 2-2 two -two tile. Um, that would give us a 2-1 base and a 2-2 two -two tile to go with, so four food and one production. We could also settle on the horses and have a 2-2 two -two base and a 2-1 um, and be a little bit closer to the coffee. I like this. Um, there's a world in which we could perhaps put the pyramids here, although it's, it's a pretty tough wonder to get. Um, but if we settled this, put a campus there, a commercial hub here, we're looking at a plus two into a plus three campus and a plus three commercial hub right off the bat. And then if, if this winds up being a, uh, a wonder, um, then perhaps a decent theater square next to it as well. Um, this also gets us closer to like, if this is our first expand, we're pretty happy because we get free culture and um, extra border growth. So I like that a lot. Um, but the first thing we need to do is move our warrior. I'm a pretty big fan of moving him on top of the hill here just to see what we can see. Does that change anything for us? It certainly could. Because I don't want to give this up. This won't be within our workable borders of our cap um, if we settle the horses. We could move over here and settle closer to the gems and be able to, to squeeze in more cities. But it makes this settle a little bit awkward. We could, we could have a, a coastal city over there. There would be room for it. Turn three, settle the cocoa? This one? One, two, and then maybe three next to it. Yeah, second city going here would be fine. It, it it would be a lot of overlap between our capital and and our second city, but I I think that's acceptable. The really really awkward thing about that would be this floodplains, to be honest. Um, so if we if we like let's let's say we settled this as our second city. And this is our first city. We still kind of want these districts, right? with potentially uh, pyramids. But if we don't get the pyramids, then this just winds up being pretty awkward as far as districts go because we'll be looking at, oh, I don't know, just like overlapping here with like a government plaza maybe. It's tough. No no harbor next to next to this as well. So it's a bit it's a bit of a bummer. Spain did work out, Brad, yeah. Which cocoa do you guys want to settle? I don't understand. I don't understand the cocoa wants. I'm tempted to settle this, although it, it creates the exact same problem with the floodplains. I like the horse settle. Would it be advantageous to turn two settle or turn three settle this? Is that what you guys are talking about? It might create a little more space for us. It looks like this ends. This uh this river ends. So this actually just got a little bit awkward. One, two, three, four. So we could actually still put a city in there. You know what? This is fine. I think this is fine. Let's settle the horses. Because I think we can get another city there. It'll be a little... We're, we're packing them in a little tighter than I usually go. Uh, but I think that's acceptable. That's a plus. That is a very, very good campus. Have I ever accidentally deleted my first settler? Not that I'm aware of, Ham Sandwich. So this gets us horses right away. We have a 2-2 base, and uh, we're working a 2-2 tile. I would very much like to buy this 
uh, as soon as we can. And we are going to go for pottery and maybe just an early campus. Um, no Hypatia, which is sad. Um, but it, maybe an early, maybe she'll be up next. Because this is a plus three campus right out the gate. One, two jungles, three, four jungles, and the uh, campus there. And we're starting with our settler. So let's go get this. <laughs> okay. Turn three relic, huh? So that gives us four faith per turn. So we're looking at maybe the first pantheon, certainly one of the first pantheons. Um, I don't know that that means we want a, a religion. But it could mean that we want... Earth Goddess. What would we do with Earth Goddess? Tourism stuff is reasonable. Mid-tier faith uh, war stuff is reasonable. Just buying great people is pretty reasonable. Um, hmm. Hmm. There's another one. Earth Goddess useless if you have Rainforest. Um, it's certainly worse I don't think I, I don't think I would call it useless. Where's my appeal lens? Um, although it it certainly is pretty useless with this much jungle. Hmm. Hmm. Found our barbarian friends as well. And number two. Foreign trade. That's actually all right. If we wind up being on one continent, we'll be grateful for the boost to get some um, some settlers out. Okay. Now we grow. We are going to expand here next turn, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy the tile. It's not worth it. We'll wind up buying another two two probably. Oh my goodness! The viewers' faces turn blue while GM decides what to do. Move east or move west. He gives us no rest. What do you mean by turn two? <laughs> Maestro, thank you for the 100 bits and the awesome, awesome message. Appreciate you, man. That is phenomenal. I do appreciate your both your creativity and your snark. Um, okay. Okay. It's pretty good. Yo, GM, I heard you wanted faith in science. You know, I, I've heard that about me as well, my friend. Um, okay. Next turn, we'll buy a tile, just not this one. That is the other benefit of having so many early, uh, early things going for you, is you, you can very easily go into a golden age here. It was a fantastic landscape for all. And I'm going there to hopefully get the first world first meet. Nope. Somebody else has found this. Which makes me nervous. Um Hmm. We have our pick of the litter. Uh, wow. Harvester Riot. What's up, Norm? How you doing, buddy? Uh, Harvest or Riot. Harvest is very good for our map. We have a lot of jungle that we're going to want to chop. I think we're going to go here with this guy. Take Alpine. 
Um, Forager Riot. Yeah, as weird as it is, I don't think it's Earth Goddess. I actually think Harvest is way, way, way better on this. I don't know what we're doing with the Faith, but it, it's probably pretty darn good. Um, what are the other options? Coffee is oral tradition. We do have a lot of minds over luxuries, as it was pointed out. That's a, it's a good call. Um, but this is for strategic resources, not luxuries, right? So you, there's, no, there's really no world in which I'm ever taking God of Craftsmen. Faith from unappealing tiles or riot. All right, Eminem, see you, buddy. I think I think it is harvest. I don't know what we're doing with the faith, but I think it is harvest or divine spark, and we really do try to force out um, uh, some some early science. You visited here once, and it was awesome. That's cool. What how, what were the yields like? Yeah, I think I'll take harvest here, um, just because like. Even when we chop all this jungle, um, we're going to want to mine most of it. It looks very, very hilly. So that's not going to be good for appeal either. So this definitely seems like a harvest. I will take Norm's uh, glorious advice there. And uh, we'll go with harvest. Oh, some people are rioting and some aren't. <laughs> Do you see what I see? <laughs> um, cool. Yeah. There's another there's another wonder here. As it turns out, Mount Kilimanjaro is not Wi-Fi enabled. Pretty happy so about this one so far. I'm sure something will come along and re and derail it. Not the best yields here so far, but you know, I'll take it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Let's start working on this guy. I know there's somebody else over here to meet. That's fine. Uh, we are at 12 of 12. Ooh, that's awkward. That jade is awkward. Ugh. Second city could have gone right here, but oh well. Pedro's the one who found it. <sighs> We've met him before, and he has not been happy about it. Cheat my attacks. Yeah, I well, if we can beat him to to this to actually settling these spots, we'll be pretty darn happy. There's our free trade route. We have nowhere to send it quite yet. This is a bit of a downside um, at the moment. Uh, yeah, let's see how much coast is over here. I want I want an informed settling decision. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say the appeal pan pantheon got better going south here. But oh well. All right, so we have pottery. We got a free trader because of it. We can also create mecha wops. Uh, I do want to finish my next scout uh, and then probably start a settler. I don't know if we can totally ignore archers, but I would like to. Hmm. It is not wisdom but authority that makes up boost for sailing is fine i guess and we have code of laws um i do have scouts 
and I plan on having at least another one. So we could take this. I think we'll be able to take care of the camp without it. That being said, our scouts having five combat strength versus barbarians might be good. Um, so let's just go this. It's really weird. Most, most of the time as Kree, you probably want to run survey. Um, but you're only ever going to get one level, one promotion off of, um, off of fighting barbs. Yeah. No, I'll take survey. I'll take survey. Let's see if we can get some level threes. That, that, that's a tough call. Um, clearing camps is, is obviously important, so we'll see. All right, foreign trade gets us another trader, which would be great, and then early empire for settlers. Uh, and hopefully we don't get declared on right away. <laughs> Whoa. I wish we would have taken the appeal pantheon now. So we're going to do this one, and this time we'll take Ranger, because it looks like we're going to be moving through a lot of that kind of stuff. Go after this camp. And I think let's get a Settler going. We have so much good land. Be cautious playing Got Your Nose with Pedro. He's surprisingly proficient. What? Oh. Uh. And we got another free trader for when we finish foreign trade. So we have two traders already. Looks like Tundra down here. So our land may end kind of down here-ish. Um, you bring light in. We took uh, Harvest, the Harvest Pantheon. Okay, you can't go anywhere yet. Oh, God. All right. So she's the one that's going to ruin our day. She is very, very aggro. Very, very aggro. Don't feel good about this. Holy! And she's right next to us already. Oh. <laughs> I love when the tiles that are four from your cap already have minus loyalty. That That's just the best. Yeah, we could sell some we could sell our horses, but that feels like a really bad idea to me. I don't know, I'm deciding if we should forward settle her or if that's just going to incite a war and not allow us to take advantage of these wonders that we've found. So there's definitely a debate to be had there. Definitely Tundra to the bottom. I might have to switch to military here now. Send her a traitor. Good call. She's a she's a good trade partner early on, too. Um, I do think I want to spend some of our money on tiles. I would like to have this because it would kind of pay for itself, but I think we just need a 2-2. Because we'll, we'll pick this up, I think, right? Maybe we just wait. Haha. Uh -huh. Beat you there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I told you there'd be conflict with three sims like right next to us and all on the same continent, which is just something that drives me up the wall. She got Earth Goddess.
She's certainly going to come fight us. Yeah, I want to settle this, ideally. I don't think this is going to be... Yeah, we can't make a trade route. We don't have the capacity yet. Three, three turns and we can. Maybe we can get there. is easy. All you have to do is cross out the wrong words. Yeah, I think this is our rightful settle. Whether it's the stone or one up from it. It's not the safest settle. Flat land, very, very exposed, but we would pick up some pretty good tiles and hopefully build like an encampment right here. I feel like we're going to have to fight whether we want to or not. Oh my god, triple, triple Coco settle. That's true. We could buy this tile. It gives us vision and will block this uh, entrance for a while. It's, I like that. Good suggestion, Tifer. Uh, is it a new continent? Oh, oh, what? How, how is this a continent? Hello? Hello? <laughs> what is that? Does it even have any luxuries? I wonder I wonder how much further it keeps going. Watch this have no luxuries. Yeah, and I don't think we're going to get the pyramids now that Egypt's here. Okay, um how do we survive Egypt? I mean, the answer is almost uh, assuredly archer uh archers. I would really really like to get this. This would also kind of ensure our golden age. Civ 6 with gerrymandering. <laughs> Pentacore? That's so weird, though. All right, hopefully they fight. Maybe that's my hope. I think we do need to go archery for safety, and then once we have our campus, uh, maybe we go for masonry and try to get the pyramids. Like, if we get a little science, we can kind of make up for, like, this little dalliance that we're they're participating in. Is that Gandhi, too? No, that's her. That's just Gorgo. Uh, which means we should at least lock this in. I do want to get this settler. It, 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 might be, it might be bad, but we'll see. I could just, if you guys, you know what? If you could just let me have this, just like this area, <laughs> that would be the best. Picking up tiles. There's our, there's our gold, free gold. Of trade, I suppose. Uh, make a trade route. Wow, we can make it there. We're not going to get any additional tiles though. I think I'm going to wait and save this trade route for when this settler gets a city. Then we can steal even more tiles. All right. I don't think we're actually going to crank out settlers super fast. I do want to get a district, and uh, I'm going to need to produce units, most likely. Um get a little more gold from our trade routes. Uh, no, this seems fine. That'll be done in a second. I've, I've got to bring our scouts kind of back here. Um, it's kind of it's 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 a fair amount of military 
Um, and as much as I'd like to keep exploring, I really want to keep this as safe as possible for right now. All right, so which, which are we going to? Are we settling this? Which Civ do I like least being my neighbor? Cleopatra's on that list. She is very, very aggressive. I would settle this and plan a future aqueduct, but then we we don't have the growth really. Maybe mechawaps. Maybe if I settle this and we get some mechawaps and we make up for our housing that way, then we then we keep our loyalty on our own side over here. This would be a reasonable settle as well, just defensively. All right, I'm I'm nervous. I'm nervous here. Let's go clear this camp as well. See what we're up to. You need to start coming back. That is a lot of units just hanging out. This is in multiplayer where you would get a surprise war for your settler. Thankfully, this is not multiplayer. Okay, we need to survive this. I'm tempted to settle this just because I can do it this turn. It keeps the bonus resource trigger for um, for mechwaps, so I could put a, a very good mechwap there like right away. What are our other options here? I feel like he's going to come declare on me. The problem isn't, I mean, sure, a, a, an extra harvest of stone would be great, but that's not going to be the deciding factor of this city. The deciding factor of this city needs to be safety. We need to somehow be friends with Brazil. Especially since I'm getting an early campus, which isn't something that I'm comfortable doing at the moment. They're not at war with each other, although they might be in a second. I think I'm settling this jungle. Oh, there we go. I am oh, does that give me flexibility now? Dogs look up to us. They did indeed decide Cats to fight each other. Ominous. Pigs treat us as equals. See, not super effective against barb camps. Um. could buy them a builder right away and allow them to grow. The, see, the, the reason that the, this aqueduct city is a bad idea is without fresh water, the city doesn't really grow um, into population where we can maintain its own loyalty. Now, if we go into a uh, golden age, that shouldn't be as much of an issue as it has been in previous games. I think I like the aqueduct settle too, though, that all being said. Just because we have the mecha wump. The mega wump.
you guys doing? Yeah, I think I like it. I think, the, I think this is the pretty much the only sieve I would do this with is Pound Maker. And then our uh, campus is going to take us the rest of the way towards the era scores, so we don't even need to really do anything besides just get to the next era. 200 for a builder. Let's move the trader over here. We got another city. Okay. <laughs> I know, right, Atlas? Me founding aqueduct cities feels weird. Okay. So straight on to Egypt because I want to steal the diamond tile from them. Twenty four thirty two. So we'll just go here. Come back. We could use a builder as well. Is that what I want to do? No. Let's uh let's create a few slingers. Been way, way, way too light on military so far, even though they are fighting, which is definitely to our advantage. Another barb camp. That's still active. There's another one up there. Uh, added us. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. All right. I'm going to bring this guy to help clear the camp. Steal this, please. Um, all right, so let's not finish off archery. I want to create a couple more slingers before that. When's the era ending? Soon? Let's get one builder, send it up here so that they can do other things. Uh, and I think we're going to get an encampment there as well. Yeah, she is kind of a perfect neighbor as far as uh, the bonuses for a Cree game. Absolutely. Thank you. This is where the uh, five combat strength would be shining. Seems to be like it, like that road. Uh, yeah. Seems to be that that uh, it's like it's it's distance mostly. Some form of that. Okay. Well, we're way over on era score, but we've got a good amount of money. I'm thinking about saving it because I just I'm nervous about these people. 
And let's head on to Early Empire. I don't really want to waste the uh, Mecha Wop score this era, since we're already like more than good. What if we got an early pyramids? What if we bought this builder, did the stone, four turns, we start on masonry? We could get a builder. And we could put that in there for units for when we need to. Use overflow. I like it. I actually like it. Okay. Let's just heal in our territory. This makes me nervous. Another barb camp? Where? Yikes. Sure sounded like one. Thinking about Snow Crash? I don't know that. What is Snow Crash? This one's more likely to stick around, actually. That one certainly gets cleared. Stonehenge gone. Okay, let's try to get some gold out of that. Uh, eight and seven. Ten. Nice, man. I, I would like to check that out, Vifesto. Barb too close to cap, so I leave it. Oh, this one? That's the one that just spawned that I didn't see. What's going to screw our game is not the Barb Camp. It's going to be Cleo. Almost assuredly. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, this is terrifying. So close to them. All right, ancient era ending. More era score. I feel like she's going to really ruin our plans here. Each of us is carving a stone, erecting a column, or cutting a piece of stained glass. In the construction of something much bigger. Okay, so we're going to use overflow to hopefully get this. Um, pyramids.
I'll keep the amenities now. Although we have two diamonds? Oh, did I not trade it? I don't think I traded it. I just was shopping, and then I got distracted. Because it's shiny! Oh, well. We kept the luxury the whole time. Oh, you're only going to give me four now. I have regrets. Okay. Bronze working, probably. Is it that or irrigation? This, I feel like we're going to boost. Yeah, let's go see if we have iron. Okay, she's backing off a little. Thank you. Cool. So first instance of overflow. Uh, we don't have a Magnus yet, unfortunately, so that's not going to help. However, uh, only eight more production needed for this Slinger. And we will get 40 out of this. So we're doing that. And then we have a 13 turn Pyramids. And what do we want this to be? Probably the farm. No, probably the mecha up. Uh, which can go here? No. Here? Maybe. Hmm. Here would be ideal, actually. You know what? Call me crazy. It's fine. Yeah, Mechawap will give more error score. That's why I'm saving it. Later, dudette. Thank you for stopping in. I'm very happy to have you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's check in uh, before the era ends on great people. Uh, people are indeed working on scientists already. My hope is that Hypatia will be next and we can faith buy it. The first one was not Hypatia. Eleven turns on the pyramids. Uh, two turns on bronze working. Do we have a better chop than this to help with pyramids? That woods up there. Maybe we want to do that instead. But I want to chop this eventually, so let's just do it. It'll give us faith as well for uh, hopefully Hypatia. Okay, there's our archery complete. On the defense now. Thank you, game. All right, cool. So we got our granary. I think we want to get builders now, especially if it's going to time out with um, pyramids, which it might. Come 
Hello. What's going on there? Grease? Having some issues? Let's go this way. Going for ambush if we can. If we have a couple ambush scouts, we'll be golden. All right, three turns on the era. We can chop this now. Seven and seven. Oh, that's true. We could have saved the last charge and had another charge there. Good good call, Anexi. Could have done that, didn't though. All right. Cruising right along here. And I uh, have to make some decisions on what to do next, but uh, amazingly, this is the end of the video. This is uh, this has flown by, man. When you have this type of land and all this stuff going on, we're trying to get pyramids. Absolutely crazy. Only thing that would make this better is uh, a settler steal, but we'll deal with that later. If you're watching over on YouTube, don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic. Come say hi to us on person, in person, on the internet. There it is. <laughs> See you guys next time.